I practice in class actions. I originally came from a national firm and this, I thought class actions was an exciting area and I really wanted to get in on the ground floor and do what I thought and has since proved to be true to be some of the most challenging litigation. In my practice, I value the incredibly complex cases that I've been privileged enough to work on, the constant evolution of the cases and the ability to constantly be challenged with new areas of law, and the privilege to work with some of the most talented counsel across Canada and frankly from around the world. In the last couple of years, I've argued at the certification one of the largest medical device cases on behalf of almost 30,000 plaintiffs. I've argued a pharmaceutical case and I've argued one of the only securities cases to proceed to a certification and leave motion. I think one of the great successes that we've had in the cases we've done so far um, was a certification motion on a medical device case. We had to make some very difficult strategic uh, and evidentiary decisions that really resulted in a great decision that is going to be an important precedent for many future certification decisions. I think the best piece of advice I received from a mentor very early in my career, and it's really shaped my approach to my career. I was told that the best fruit is at the end of the branch, and the challenge and effort in reaching for that fruit is going to pay off exponentially in my career, and that's something that I've really tried to apply. I think in my role as plaintiff's counsel, the work that we do really helps thousands of people in very measurable ways. But through my pro bono and volunteer work, I've been able to give back and really fuel my creative outlook. So in my role as a board member on the Real Asian International Film Festival, I've been able to have a creative outlook that really complements the community service type work that we already do in our practice.